Go, 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 go. Oh, crap. No, it's so much further away. Oh, I screwed up. I screwed up bad. Oh, we got it. I think I got it. Go, 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 go. One thing I'm noticing about the cell shaded guard style is that for a game that's gonna have flying and boats in it, it's surprisingly hard to judge depth perception with this art style. I keep thinking stuff's way closer or further away than it actually is. Not really a problem with enemies so much, it's more that kind of stuff. Yeah. I deck you. Wait, that. Yeah, I plucked a golden feather from that? Okay. That thing has feathers? A certain strangeness emanates from the quill of this beautifully shining golden feather. Winged girls are said to be infatuated with these treasures. Oh, I know a winged girl. Get out of here. Go on, get. I'll do spinny spinny. Oh, that was a bad spinny spinny. Yeah. I gotta fight. I gotta fight the uh, instincts to use the right joystick to fight. Because the last game had me use the right joystick for all of the uh, items, and now I keep trying to use it, and that's a problem. Let's not do that. The Forbidden Woods. They have forbidden. Why have you gone into the woods? <laughs> what a comical combat animation. I have an immediate instinct to hit them over and over and over again, even if it's not necessary, just to see if I can make them bounce back and forth more freak more quickly. Health, please. Health, please. Health, please. That's not health. That's the opposite of health. Ow. Now it's definitely the opposite of health. Crap. There we go. No one's dropping a heart around here. Is that a Deku nut? They got big. They got big, big. Oh, doesn't break when you throw it. Do I use it to pressure something? Oh, kind of. <laughs> Bludgeon the crap out of that. Hey, you. Choo choo. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. Did I put you in there? Nope. You probably would not fit. Oh. It can eventually break. Learning things. There really is a lot of you. Oh, no thank you. They are exceptionally rude. What do we have here? Is it... Oh, it's a compass, isn't it? Or it's the map! It's always the map first, isn't it? I... Got it mixed up. Oh well. Is there anything to hook on to... You? No? No physical reaction. Bunch of branches up there. They look like pine cones on the ends of like... Vines, I guess. Can I climb into you? Nope. Gotta get more of them later first. The nut broke the door open, but I didn't really try using my sword, so I don't know if that was actually what the nut was for. But for now, I'll assume... I feel like the spikes are gonna be in my way. Are these spikes gonna be in my way? I don't know if I can trust this jump. Yeah, the spikes are, are totally gonna hit me, right? Oh, I actually can't even reach it in the first place. Ow. Ooh. Got the hearts I needed, though. Got a pile of leaves. 
Ah. Huh. You're full of crap. Dang it. Dang it. Yeah. She's so long gone by the time that animation was over, unfortunately. Uh, I should have gotten rid of the potion sooner. I've never really used energy potions ever in a Zelda game, I don't think. But a fairy? I'll use a fairy. Alright, well, learn from that mistake. Now it's all ready to catch it next time. You don't even need you don't even need to use magic to use this use it as a fan. It just happens automatically for free. So it's pretty much only for gliding, huh? Let's make our controls make a little more sense. So you make sense as a... You should be the right bumper. Because... It's sort of like aim and shoot makes sense to keep... Yeah. Cause I've been messing up my aim with that thing a little bit because I'll, I'll be moving with the right stick, then I'll move to hit X, but X is so close to the joystick that I found myself hitting the joystick while hitting X, which then messed up my aim. So putting in an R makes sense. There we go. Yeah, gotta get used to the strangeness that is the joystick placement on the, uh, the Wii U Pro Controller. Because the, uh, the, the Switch Pro Controller went for the full, like, Xbox One, Xbox 360 joystick layout that we're mostly used to. Um... I think I'm generally happy with the controls otherwise. Now let's make you the up button, because you're a flying button, basically. Oh, I was curious how that would react. Yeah! Huh. That animation was kind of great. Interesting hitboxes going on there, but I'll take it. And I got through unscathed. Nothing to, nothing to complain about. Huh, huh, there we go, we're fine. So, cutting the roots I don't think matters. Do I hit you? Oh wait, it just straight up doesn't go where I'm aiming. It's not like the hook shot, because it's trying to hook around the surface. Because it's an actual grappling hook being used as an actual grappling hook, instead of whatever the hell the hook shot was. That was a weird... Weird item. Money! Oh, maybe you. I can't really aim you, though. I just- he just throws it. Yeah. That seems like it's not the intended thing, then. Oh, maybe the fire. That's what it was. Oh, I just lit a fire over there, didn't I? It'll be fine. We're just inside, like, a tree or something. Yeah, it's a nice crest. We'll hold on to these, just in case. Figure out what they're actually for before I start selling things. Yeah, that's why those guys were there. Is there anything else to do, Dan, here? There's nothing to grapple to, so I probably need to go back up. There it is. I was like, where do I actually go from here? I can't make it over there, can I? Oh yeah, I can. With the power of flight! That's how you get around the spiky things. You fly around. Now it makes sense. Do these things restore my energy? Uh, all the more reason for me to not need the potions, then. Huh. Yeah, I super don't need those potions, then. Okay. Ah! That's what I was going for. 
Cool backflip. Come with me if you want to explode over there. Oh crap. That wasn't really meaning for that bounce, but, you know. Hit. That's a peculiar circular fan setup over there. Look at that thing. It'll clearly rotate and spin like a fan, but what in the world? <laughs> am, I supposed to be think am I supposed to think that's naturally occurring? I have questions. Ah. I see. Oh, oh. Auto jumping still scares me in these games. Do I just push that way with it? Basically. I can just keep going because there's no uh, energy usage. Oh, we're already here. Cool. I gotcha. Uh, you guys. Oh, that's your weakness. I really should have tried that before. Fairy, please. Aw. Oh. Did I waste the only fairy? That'll be a bummer. There we go. I like the part where I meth murdered the wildlife. Hello. Got a rhythm of sorts. Uh, you're the one I, that lets me actually move, right? Yeah. On our way to 500. Yeah. Again, huh? Yeah. It's not effective. Eh, and I'm poking in the eyeball. It's very resistant to being poked in the eye, surprisingly. Thankfully, I can just spam that because there's no energy requirement. There must be something over here I can use. Oh, there's nuts down there. Two of them down there with a the chest. There's also one over here. But how do I get it down there? Oh! Meant to put it down, <laughs> not throw it. Whoops. Good. Take us to bottom. Uh-oh. That's not what I wanted. Whoops. Oh, it's gonna break soon. No! It's gonna break! Ah! Well, let's just head on right back up. Had a little bit of mix-up where I started hitting the switch on accident, so it turned around. Stay there, do not fall. So you can tell from the de the degradation pattern that's on it that that it's how much like sort of how much is left of it, kind of. Hello, die. That wasn't very nice. There we go. Now get off my platform. Huh. Anyway, and drop. Oop! Don't. Get back. There we go. What do you think's in here, huh? Do these things hurt, by the way? These pine cones? No? No, th yeah, those are definitely just pine cones. Yeah! 20 rupees, I guess. Why not? Oh. Alright, let's get back up. I'm so taken aback by the visual similarities between this game and, uh, 
Breath of the Wild. I'm interested in seeing if those specific elements are uh, exactly like they were in the original uh, Wind Waker or not. Not sure what it. Oh, not sure what it. Like the uh, the Koroks and Beetle look exactly like what they look like in Breath of the Wild. So I can't help but wonder if they just made those models new and then used them in both. Or if they always looked like that all the way back, like, ten plus years ago, because, damn. That really shows how this, uh... That, that would really highlight how this, uh... Art style doesn't age. I see you, puzzle. Pentacles only react to my proximity. They don't give a crap about Fan. So Fan is answer. Now die. Okay. I have nothing to chop these for. I'm 100% full on, like, every resource type. But here I go. I mean, I don't have a fairy. Technically. What is that? Look at the wibbly wobbling. What's going on? Ew. Platforms are all moving around, all creepy-like. That looks like a boss chamber. I bet we fight the boss down there at some point, whether it's soon or not. That's probably the boss, actually. If I were to guess. Huh. So if I want to get over there, or anywhere really, how would I do that? Doesn't reach. Those platforms are just unnerving looking, the way they move around. I mean, that stuff's all too far away. I can only glide downwards and forward, not up. So everything that's up isn't accessible. Yeah, if I go down there, I'll be able to get back up relatively easily. There's stuff here. I bet that I'm supposed to go down. There's two of those guys. So there's a hole underneath. Is this stuff bad for me or what? So it's just dark water. Okay. So my character doesn't give a crap about that stuff. I was a little worried. I don't have fire, so I can't light that on fire. Oh, I missed that. There's a hookshot point. Gotcha. Now these things come back and forth. All creepy-like, like weird wall tongues. Ugh. Why? Who's your big old nightmare? Yes, you are. So I can take this one down and I'd be able to hit that thing down there, but it's got two locks on it. I wonder if I need to somehow take out both, both at once? Or if there's any significance to there being two of them? Oh, there's one right here. I should focus on that one first. Seems highly logical. Wow, this, the, the, the degradation marks on this thing spawn immediately. Oops. There we go. Get off my platform. I wonder if maybe they respawn too fast? What was that sound? Oh, look at those little- ew. Oh, I don't like them. I almost wonder if I break one of them, like, if it'll respond too fast or something. And maybe I need a bomb to destroy two at once or something. Wow, you're a little ball of nightmare. Oh my god. Oh no. That's what I was going for. I was trying to spin it and it wasn't working. Okay. Down I go. 
Do they even hurt you? Wow, you're creepy. And oddly unresponsive at the moment. All dead? All dead? Alright. Wow, those things are off-putting. Miss Gig! Not too shabby. You fell in the nightmare hole full of nightmares. Um, 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 okay. That was startling. I got you, though. We're doing the same spawning maze thing that is in Mario Rabbids and Ocarina of Time, actually. The maze of hazards that aren't clear until you get near them, and then suddenly screen covered in hazards. Oops. Aha! Now there's the compass. I haven't even looked at the map yet, honestly. I sh maybe I should do that. We started here, presumably. And there's stuff over here. And places and things. Eh. I've got plenty to explore on, on foot without a, a map right now. Ow. I'm usually mostly interested in using a map when I feel like I'm at a dead end and I don't know what to do next. Money! It's just an all around unpleasant room to be in. It's loud, it's dangerous, it's obtrusive and dickish for no reason. It's just whoever runs this place is just a bad person. Oh. Oh. Where can I even go with this? Up there. Ooh, maybe the pots are full of stuff. You never know. Oh. Not what I was going for. Die, wood. I don't think that worked. No. If I aimed it right, I might have been able to get away with it. A little better. Did I get it? I did. I did not plan ahead for that and I paid the price. Uh. Now, nah, damn it. I need to go slower. <laughs> Oh, damn it. There we go. Oh, right. We're doing a thing. I'm <laughs> really good at that, apparently. Gonna destroy an, an important box later. That way. Ooh. Well, I know one way to, one place to use that key. But what about over here? What's gonna be up here? Nothing, maybe? Ah, Joy Pendant. That's neato. Is that all that's in here? Okay. And hearts. There we go. All is forgiven. It's like I didn't make a mistake in the first place. Now we know that these are nightmares. There we go. There's still more of you? Oh, they're not even dying, they're falling off. Oh, I'm out of here. 
Deuces. Nope, 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 nope. Wow. They filled that room up. No, thank you. Key first or elevator first? Elevator? What do you do? Ah! Please be a fairy, please be a fairy. Not a fairy. It's a shortcut back to the beginning. Dang it. Alright. Ooh! I get to be a dick. Hi. Oh. They're like growing back too fast is the issue, right? Meanwhile, the faster I go around running in a circle, the more likely I am to fall off while trying to do this. Oh yeah, they, they grow back fast. I don't think I can do that in time. I need an area of effect attack. Like a spin attack or boomerang or something. Okay, bet that's in here. Or bet this leads there eventually at least. Or a bomb. A bomb might work if I can make my own bombs. Or pull bombs out of a bomb bag at least. Howdy. Go away. <laughs> Shame on you. Eh. Oh, not... Not a good plan. Cha! You're a little hard to fight when you're never in melee range afterwards. Ooh, let's hit that thing. That probably does something. Yeah! Gimme that elevator. Gimme. Bye! Hi. Oh, what are you? I don't like you. Oh, it goes all red-eye and attacks me. No. None of that. There we go. Just cut off its head and you get a nice bouncy platform that lets you run around. Hooray. All I had to do was permanently mutilate them, and now they help me platform. Oops. Gotcha. Right up top. Oh. Excuse me. There we go. A rare enemy in Zelda that you can walk into without it hurting you. At least once in that state. Someone give me something to throw at that thing? The door was covered. Oh. Combat room. Alright, well thanks for the nightmares. Nice knowing you. You know, you could have just not done that. Uh. Alright, fine. Blow you away. Nope. Aha. That doesn't work. Really thought it would. There we go. It just has, it has to be within melee range is the issue. Ow. Unpleasant. Ow. Yay, I cut off your wings. You're permanently scarred. Destroy, destroy. All in a day's work. Are those things still on me? Oh, they're gone. Ooh. Oh, 
we have capped at 500. So that's that's my caps. Now I'm now I'm definitely out of room for new resources. We've maxed it out. Are you the boss key or something? Oh, it's the boomerang! I called it! Target specific objects by holding the button, aiming, and you get the red thing. Yeah. You can set up five targets, yep. I didn't know that it would actually be a lock-on boomerang for multiple targets, but I thought that maybe you could make it spin around you in a circle and hit all those things. And it totally turned out to be the next item. Well, alrighty then.